Hey, it's Vance McCullough. I'm getting ready to head down to Lake Toho for the first Bassmaster Open Tournament of 2011. It's going to be uh, one of the hottest big bass lakes on the planet. Toho's been really good the last couple of years, the whole semi chain actually. Uh, there's a number of ways fish could be caught. We're going to get a good warming trend on a full moon come Wednesday, the last day of practice, just, well, a couple of days from now. And then Thursday, we should have bright skies, fairly calm winds. We should see some really big sacks come in the first day, maybe two. Uh, don't be surprised to see something in the 30, mid-30 pound range. I mean, the fish are out there. Uh, and apparently, they've not spawned at all yet on the Kissimmee chain in any great numbers. Uh, fishing was tough this past weekend. The temperature's still down about 57 degrees, but it's warming a couple of degrees every day. So it'll be in the mid-60 range when we get there. And uh, like I say, somebody's going to build a big lead with a couple of big sacks, those old bedding fish down there that the, the chain is so uh, known to produce. And then we're going to get a little bit of weather, maybe some, some clouds and wind, a little bit of rain, uh, the days two and three. And uh, so the guy that's got a good backup plan or can still see them, you know, a really good sight fisherman maybe, might be able to pull it off. But it's hard to win a multi-day event down here in Florida uh, just on sight fishing alone. But, boy, it's a great way to build you a, a big lead and, and then have that backup plan. Uh, not a lot of cover to flip, it doesn't sound like, and, and the big fish shouldn't really pile it too thick under the mats if we're not having a cold front. I'm thinking maybe something like the Strike King Rage Toad uh, should come into play heavily this week. Uh, if, if things are a little bit slower, a little bit tougher, um, yeah, I still want to get on that top water bite. Anybody that knows me knows I have a lot of fun with old snag proof frog. And there's plenty of places to throw those down there on Toho. A couple months ago, I was down there messing around and lost an absolute monster on one. I mean, she'd come up through the mat and just never connected. I can't really say I lost her. She just, you know, but attacked it. And uh, I know where she lives, so, yeah, we'll get down there and have a good time. And I'm getting to fish this one as a no-boater, a co-angler. We used to call them no-boater back before everybody got uh, politically correct. But uh, anyway, backseat boater. And I'm going to have a good time. Roland Martin's coming out of retirement, so that'll be, be something to look forward to. And we're going to bring you covers every day, uh, keep you up to date on patterns and, you know, how things went out there on the water, as well as the standings and who's leading and how they're doing it. So stay tuned to anglerschannel.com, um, especially you know, Wednesday for the big practice report, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday the big weigh-in at Bass Pro Shops down there in Orlando. And uh, we'll see you then.